I am, I am, I am, um, I just wanted to just chat with you, you know? I've been following you for, um, I would say, probably close to about a year now. Found you on YouTube and um, saw that you were doing a lot of stuff in real estate. I'm a realtor as well. Where are your realtor at? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, to revolutionize the real estate market, right? And not really change the model, so to speak, but have a build out a platform, a one line platform where sellers can um, sell their own and buyers can come to this platform and buy. So we turn all buyers into cash buyers by getting them pre approved through or through, through lending. Um, and so one stop shop, one stop shop. So sellers, they don't have to necessarily use, we'll be the transactional brokerage. So we would handle all the transactions for, for the sellers. So the sellers, you know, they, they give us the listing, we take the pictures and everything from the platform. The buyers would then come, we get them pre-approved. They would be able to have off-market deals. They, these deals would be exclusively for, for them. Um, so that's that's the goal for me. Um, okay, whatever but, works for me. Yeah, know. and so, so that's the real estate side of it. Um, but ultimately, um, and this is why I admire you so much in terms of what you've done with uh, you know, with, with, with just real estate as well. So like you go out buying just real estate uh, shopping centers. My goal is to build out a private equity fund, right? And I want to fund that through that real estate channel, through that funding source. So I'll, I'll use that real estate channel as a funding source to build out this private equity fund. So that's the ultimate goal for me. Why, why, why don't you just go out there and start finding deals and looking for investors? Yeah, so no money is in it. I mean, besides whatever, you know, things going on that's not already covered through the cash. What's more, what's more important? Is it more important to have a few hundred dollars a month or 40 grand in your pocket? That's what I've done, that, that, right. And so that's what that's still that What you do with 30 grand a year, he's fed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. So I didn't. The house is worth 70. So you, owe, you took a loan out on 30 grand? No, I didn't take a loan out. Oh, yeah. you inherited with the loan? I just, yeah, yeah. So I All just. Right, so you're on 40 yeah. grand. And, I mean, would you rather have the forty grand in your pocket, or you want three hundred money? I mean, it's not bad. Eight percent return, ten yeah, percent yeah. return of money, eight percent return right. of money. I would like to. I would like to have a forty thousand. Um, I would like. I would love to have forty thousand dollars. You know, but the only reason I'm just keeping the property is, is so I can leverage it to buy real estate with with the lenders. Because they was, you know, like I said, they use that property as you know, one hundred seventy. Uh, you know, one hundred seventy thousand. Times four, you know, you could be running around looking for almost seven hundred thousand dollar deal. Yeah. Now commercial. Correct. And if, or more. Yeah. It could be somebody gave you twenty percent down, give them more. Right. You could be up to eight hundred thousand dollars worth of real estate you could be fucking with right now. Got it. I mean that's how I always did it. I try to get out there and just, you know, buy as much as I could. As long as you buy right. Mm -hmm. And I know you know what you're doing. You see, you already made 140 grand on a house. Yeah. You know what values are. You know what all this shit is. I mean, you know, I understand. I, I don't know about platforms and all this yeah. stuff. That's yeah. more of a business. Right. All I know is real estate. Right. You know, you buy it, you fix it, whatever. You, you create some value add, just like you did with that house. Yeah. You wait for the market to go up. Whatever the case may be, you know, right now, you could be in a position where you're out there looking to spend 700, 800 grand. And as long as you got twenty percent down, it's called an easy qualifier. Banks don't give a fuck if you got a house and sell oh, right. them. Oh. I mean, they don't give a fuck. They, they, when you walk into the bank and you say, "Listen, here, I got hundred seventy grand," yeah, you know, it shows you got money. You know, but so this, so here's my thing. Yeah. How much of that hundred thirty grand you use up? Not like much. 7, yeah, like seven thousand. Well, well, that's you're still, brilliant. Yeah. You know, yeah. so here you go. You're not stupid. You, you, you're only using what you need to use. Yeah. So that hundred, if you sell a house in Alabama. You know, you, you know, using the little bits and pieces. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the problem is that when you want to buy your next deal, they're probably gonna want twenty percent down because you already got home ownership. Yeah. You know, so you and know. That was the, and so. But the point is, where are you gonna find a deal? Where do you live? I live in Atlanta. Atlanta, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, are there any deals out there for you to buy? It's hard. I mean, it's it's, you know, it's, it's hard. Sucks. Yeah, it's hard, man. Especially especially in the in the right area. I mean, if you go in a in a in the city of Atlanta, I'm paying at least, if I, if I try to get a duplex out there, I'm paying I'm at least close to a million dollars. I mean, just, just I don't know if I'm with you like that. I go for where the depressed areas are at. You know, oh, you're man. a young guy, you're starting out, 
you got to pay your dues. If you want to make money, you got to go yes. where nobody, you know, you got to go where bargains are at. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go in areas that are depressed. You're going to have to find some fucking something you can fix up. Yeah. You're going to have to find something you can rent out. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to look for that fucking diamond in a rock. That's all I did. Got it. You know, because the only way I can make money was to make money on the rough shit. Gotcha. That's where the money's at. Right, right. Because right, right. <laughs> the cap rates are much better. The better point is, you buy something with a guy you don't know what the fuck he's doing, or a family don't, they take care of the property, and rents could be higher, and the mm -hmm. place needs paint. Yeah. That's where the money's at in real estate. Yeah. Buying something, you're a realtor, you can look over the fucking MLS. Yeah. You know, you could also be beating the hell out of, but you're not going to find it in Atlanta. Yeah. You have to go to the outskirts. Got it. You're going to have to go to the worst neighborhoods. Yeah. And then what you want to do is what I used to do in Oakland. Yeah, yeah I don't give in Oakland. It was yeah. Rough yeah, no, time. I don't know about Oakland. <laughs> I spent 18 years there. So what I used to do in Oakland was, <clears throat> here's Oakland. I would go, well, I, I got to the point where I didn't give a fuck because I was renting a Section 8 and I was fixing places up. Mm -hmm. But what I would do is I would start by looking, like, here's the good and say, here's the bad. I'd look for all the shit closest to the good okay. and try to find the dogs. Got it. And then if I couldn't find nothing in that, I'd turn my radius worse okay. until I got right to the fucking bullseye. And I just said, well, fuck it, this is where I'm gonna make my money and I gotta go there. Got it. You know, if it means, you know, whatever. Got I mean, it. you know. So you're saying start out. And I was in. white, so it was a lot harder for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But I didn't give a fuck because I, I could relate to anybody. I was raised in the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. So I didn't give a fuck. I dealt with drug dealers. I dealt with fucking anybody. I didn't give a fuck. I, I, that's the way it is. You yeah. know, you got to yeah. get in. Yeah. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure outside of Atlanta, there's got to be some areas that are in Atlanta or around yeah, Atlanta. There's like outskirts of Atlanta. Um, there, there are there are areas that I could. Um, it's just not the opportunity is going to be a little bit thinner unless I go to the hood, hood, hood. You know, if I go to West End, Atlanta, or something like that, I could probably find it because a lot of investors are going up there flipping. Home. You're not going to be there ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to keep that in your mind. Got it. Yeah, I don't like coming to this motherfucker. <laughs> People you off. I'm tired of doing yeah. that bullshit. Yeah, but I'm not going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to I'm going to get in here. I'm going to fix this motherfucker up. I'm begging you to please always try to rent Section 8, okay, because your money's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And the people on Section 8, they change Section 8 a lot now. Yeah, yeah. The people on Section 8, they don't want to lose yeah. it. They'll take that Section yeah. 8 away from yeah. them. They're fucking up. Yeah. Selling drugs, yeah. uh, the police coming to the house. They're fucking up. Section 8 will cut their ass off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the people are kind of acting cool now. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And I took that advice from you, I man. When I did it on my Alabama home, I had no issues since I've been with them. And they actually helped me out, right? Because they came in and said, look, these are things that you want to have done. I'm like, okay. You know, so it helped me out because yeah, I can get it. Yeah, I'm like, now. Nah, you know, you know, you know, do what you want and pay me the money. Yeah. And your money's guaranteed. Right. right. I mean, you know, how old are you? I'm 36. I mean, your clock's ticking. Yeah. No, you know, yeah. I mean, in a disrespectful way, but you're going to be 40 soon. Right. All right. You need to. You need, to, you need to buy some rough shit in my, that's all I can tell you to do with what I did. Okay. You know, with the kind of money you're sitting on, you need to go out and find the bet in your realtor so you got access to every fucking deal. Especially, look for the fucking deals mm -hmm. that have been sitting on the market mm -hmm. and ain't been selling. Mm -hmm. Look at how many days that motherfucker's been sitting on the market because the guy's sitting there and he's sweating. He ain't getting, he ain't selling like everybody else. Right. He wants the money. Believe me, he's got a reason why that property's for sale. He wants out. Okay. That's why all that off market shit is great if you can find him. Right. I like the shit with a motherfucker I know who's wanting to sell. Got it. And yeah. if he's been sitting on the market for 60, 90, 120 days, oh, you come in with 20% less than what he's asking at least. Okay. If he wants 100 grand, you offer him 80 grand. Okay? Because he ain't got shit else to work with but you. Gotcha. Or else okay. the motherfucker be okay. sold. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the I I can only tell you what I've done. <clears throat> I would buy the ugliest shit as long as the numbers made sense. Yeah. Don't buy something where it's going to cost you too much to fix it up. Yeah. Paint, yeah. carpets, yeah. appliances, yeah. some fucking cabinets. Yeah. And, you, to and, and you the toilet costs a hundred bucks. And you said your threshold was like what, twelve to twenty percent. <clears throat> you and you and little yesterday were saying about twelve to twenty percent is what you guys look for from from the return standpoint. 
I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you go in a rough neighborhood, you know, let's let's just say, all right, let, let's say you go to the hood. All right, let's say you find yourself a duplex. Probably be careful with houses because, you know, even though you got Section 8 in them, you know, that's good, but it's nice to have more than one tenant paying your rent. Yep. Because normally, normally, if you do it right, one tenant out of the two should break you even. Got it. That one rent should pay your taxes, your mortgage, and your insurance. Okay. That's the safety net. Okay. If the other unit's rented, that's gravy in your pocket. Got it. If it's not, well, at least you're not coming out of your pocket. Okay. You know? So I would go look for the roughest shit that's out there. And you got competition. Yeah. You know you do. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Uh, but get out there and look for the shit that's stale on the market. It's like everybody says LoopNet is where everything yeah. goes to yeah. die. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be a guy to come in when the property is fucking dying. Right. And grab it, bring it back to life. What would you say? What would you suggest gets the attention of most from brokers? Like, you know, coming to the market first, got you know, first time going into it. Like, what would you? How would? How would you? What would you suggest me doing to get their attention? Or to say, say the ones that have the listings and selling yeah. the property. Yeah. You know, the point is that if it's things been sitting on the market, they're motivated. Fuck them. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't doing. They ain't yeah. moving the motherfucker. Okay. So you coming in with an offer is better than nothing. At least it gives them something to go to the seller about with. Right, right, I mean, right. if there's a brokers out there that got the good deals, mm -hmm. you know, I, let me tell you something. If a broker, if I knew that guy kept getting the good deals, I'd want to buddy up to him and say, you know, check this out. You know, hook me up. Let's put this deal together. You know, and then <clears throat> in a year, I'll be giving this motherfucker back to you. Yeah. And you got your own license, you can listen to yourself, but. Right. Creates a relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know that, that's what helped me, but I didn't have a license. Okay. I mean, you got a license right off the bat. Any deal you buy, you're gonna probably get a three percent kickback. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Did your broker take a piece of your ass? Yeah, they do. <coughs> How much? Sorry, seventy percent. Seventy. Yeah. I'm sorry, thirty percent. They get thirty percent. Yeah, that's not bad, but there are there there are like. A, Brokers out. It depends on how much help you need for yeah, them. Yeah. If they don't give you much help, yeah. there are brokers out there. You can pay a monthly fee if I and just you know, bucks a month and don't get shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of the one out here that's real big on that. Um, I can't remember. There's a guy who used to build a lot of houses. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they have those brokers where you pay no nothing to the broker, gotcha. and then you get the whole commission. But thirty percent ain't bad. Right, I mean, right, they're right. giving they're giving you some of the money. Yeah. You know, it makes sense. access, yeah. right, whatever. Right. Uh, but if I was you, I'd get my hands as much cash as I could. Okay. You know, if the house, you know, if the 300 a month helps you, fine. Mm. Otherwise, I get that 40 grand and put it to work. If you had, um, so if you're working with it like 140 grand, right? How much would how you much? 140 grand. Okay. Well, how much would you keep? And then how much would you, <clears throat> would you invest? Well, the point is that what can you do now? Right. All right, so let's say you got 140 grand. If, what do you think a deal will cost you if you went to Hood and found a deal that had some upside to it? Mm -hmm. How much do you think you're gonna spend? Um, I could probably get it for maybe maybe 600. A duplex I'm talking about. That was it? Yeah. Uh, that, that's crazy. Yes, it's how that's crazy. You gotta, you gotta go in the Hood. I'm yeah. talking about the Hood. What's gonna cost you to go in the Hood? Yeah. yeah. I probably get it cheaper than that. I mean, even if you went to a fucking area that wasn't urban, like yeah. if you went to fucking suburbs. It's a country. I mean, if I go out to the country or something like that. I mean, all you care about mm -hmm. is that can you get a tenant in that fucking place? Gotcha. And you can get them in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. You can get them in the fucking outskirts or, you know, look everywhere. Okay. Everywhere that you feel is close enough for you to, you know, if it's a half hour away, if it's a fucking hour away, right. how many times do you have to worry about, you know, the going out there? You're going to collect right. the fucking rent and yeah. send you the rent by electronic payment. And Section 8 is going to put it right in your bank account. Got it. You know, the tenant can email, uh, whatever, pay it a few bucks some kind of way. Right. And through the bank, through online, whatever. Yeah. I mean, how often are you going to go there? Yeah. A couple of units. What? Yeah. The fucking toilet breaks? You right. send a fucking guy over there to fix it? I mean, right. Right. You, you got to see what your radius is. Okay. If you got an hour, you want to buy, You need to look at an hour's radius on the map. You draw a circle on the map and you look at everything in that radius. Okay. 
You know, you might get lucky and, and find something that, you know, fuck, I can go in here and find, spend five or ten grand and make this motherfucker look like new money. Yeah, yeah. Throw some paint on it, throw some carpets in it, especially if it's empty. Right. <clears throat> you know, you got to find a deal. Good. I mean, and spread that money out as thin as you can because yeah. let's say you can find some, that's 600, I can't fuck with that, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. If you go out, I'm talking like buck fifty, yeah. shit like that. <laughs> Even I here in Florida, I can go. Yeah. I can I can drive you thirty minutes from here and show you shit. There. You can buy for a hundred houses and duplexes for hundred fifty grand. I can buy. I know a house. I can get a house. I, I can do a one door maybe for like. I can I can definitely find it for like sixty grand, seventy grand, or something like that. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now, how yeah. much is it going to cost to fix it up? Yeah. Then you got to add that up. Yeah. And if you went out and put twenty percent down, if you found a house for seventy thousand dollars, a piece of shit. Yeah. And let's say you bought it for seventy grand, you know, you're only gonna have to put down fourteen grand. Yeah. Spread that money out. I got you. Okay. Spread it out. Okay. You know, fourteen thousand here, it needs another five thousand fix up, you're into it for twenty thousand, you know. Would you be okay with if I did if I took that strategy, would you would you would you say that it's okay to pay the capital gains on like a fix up but if I were to buy a single family then would you take go that route or would you Take, you know, do the whole buy and hold strategy. I don't, I mean, we don't, the only reason why I hold is for cash flow. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, let's just say like this. Let's do this. Let's say you go out far away for about 70, you buy a house for 70 grand, all right? Okay. 75, let's play it, whatever. Let's say 75,000, okay? You find a piece of shit house, 75,000. <laughs> You put 20% down as an easy qualifier loan. You know, anybody will put your money on that. You got 15,000 down. 15,000 down. All right. You get to borrow um, 60 grand on a loan. All right. You got 60,000. I mean, I think you can still get the threes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say three and a half percent, right? 3.5% interest rate is going to cost you a big $2,100 a year in interest. Okay. All right, you're going to have principal payments yeah. because they're probably not going to give you interest only. Maybe right. they would because you're fixing it up. Don't That's be afraid right. to ask. Okay. Especially in a credit union, small place like that. You know, ask for interest only at least for a year or two. But let's don't worry about principal because you're still buying down your mortgage. You're still making that money. Okay. Let's talk about... What, what you're, you know, so here we go. How much do you think it'll rent for? If you bought a nice city house, whatever, yeah. and you rent Section A, yeah. uh, how much do you think the rent's going to be? I, about 12, about 12. 1200 a month? 1200 a month, yeah. 1200 a month. Yeah. Your fucking interest is only going to be 175. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, make it 200. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Even if you oh, principal principles, it's going to be 300. Yeah. yeah. Let's fucking throw in the principal, 300. Yeah. Still got 900. Taxes? Yeah. The fucking taxes. Taxes are going to be 75,000. They only need to charge 80% of it. Times maybe, what's the tax rate? I don't know. 2%? 1.75? I, like huh? I thought I was going to say like 1.6 or something. 175. All right, your tax is going to be uh, 1,000 a year divided by 12. It's 8. Fucking just put $100 a month for taxes. Yeah. You can have $50 a month for insurance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Insurance. All right. Buy ten fifty. All right. So you're not gonna have a wait, where am I at? What was the three hundred? The interest, the yeah. principal. All right, but part of that the money is still in your pocket. Yeah. I mean, you're still gonna cash flow not much, two hundred uh, hundred and fifty bucks a month. Yeah. But um you can sell that motherfucker probably now. So, so the strategy wouldn't be a cash flow play, it'd be more like how she's rent. Gotcha. I mean, in a house, it's not cash flow. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really, it's really, it's really, now you're talking about selling a house that rents for 1200 a month. Got it. All right. Got it. 1200 a month. All right. Might, let's say somebody didn't have a mortgage on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody just wants to buy the fucking house. Yeah. And if it's worth 1200 a month, well, 1200 a month, um, on a cap rate, if you want to look at it on a cap rate, yeah. minus your taxes and insurance, you know, twelve hundred a month of the rent, you minus a hundred and fifty dollars a month of taxes insurance is the um, what, 
do I know what I'm doing here? Yeah, you got 1,050 a month of somebody that would have rental income. Well, for somebody to get 1,050 a month, am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing it right. 1,050 a month times 12, they're gonna get an income of 12,600 a year. 12,600 a year. At a 10 cap, which everybody's paying five right now, it's worth one hundred twenty-six thousand dollars. Now, how do you? I will pay you double. Get a five cap, or let's say seven cap. That house could be any worth anywhere from one hundred twenty-six thousand to two hundred thousand, depending on the cap rate and the return. Got it. If a Got guy's it. saying, "Listen, I'm buying anything for a uh, seven cap," mm -hmm. a seven cap's probably going to put you at about one hundred eighty thousand. So now you made a hundred thousand dollars off that house. Wow. You got to go out and find that shit box for seventy five grand. Put some fucking lipstick on it. And You're getting it rented out to Section Eight. You've got a, a real income coming in now. You created the value. Yeah. And I can do that with this hundred dollar hammer, actually. Yes. How much is the rent? Twelve hundred. Yes, that was not twelve hundred. I mean, it goes down a little bit because it's only the rent's only seven hundred. I mean, well, but that's only like seven hundred. Yeah, that, that's, that's ticket. Yeah. Yeah. And the land is higher, so yeah, yeah. it's I all about you. the rent. Okay. It's all about the money okay. that they're going to get as their return. Got it. Would you, okay. you know, okay. if I was you, I mean, if you don't want to sell a house right now, don't. I, I got enough money to play around. Yeah. If you go out, the the whole ticket for you right now okay. is to go in your radius, okay, of okay, where you live. And look at every fucking cheapest thing that's out there. I don't give a fuck it's a mobile home. I know guys who make money on mobile homes. Wow. Okay. Modular homes, mobile homes. I don't give a fuck. As long as you know that somebody's going to pay you that rent, that's all that matters. If you go Section 8, you're fucking golden. Gotcha. Go to the shittiest places, beat the fuck out of them in the price. Because if they're sitting on an empty house mm -hmm. in a shitty neighborhood, you're set. Okay. You can turn the screws on them. And, and look how many days it's been on the market. If it's been sitting on the market, it's stale. Gotcha. That's why I go to LoopNet. You know, because I, why? Because, yeah, the guy's asking for a million dollars more than I want to pay him. Mm -hmm. 